What I've been doing lately because I've had horrible pain anytime I've tried to do pull-ups since I've started arm wrestling, I've been uh, trying to do pull-ups and dips every day. So dips one day, pull-ups the next day, a max effort set, just try to keep it consistent really with, with calisthenics because to me it's, they're so hard. Pull-ups and dips are so hard that like mentally knowing you have to do more than one set is kind of exhausting. So all it is is just one set in the mornings. I try to do it shirtless to get some vitamin D. So yeah, I wasn't trying to like, you know, show off the, uh, the manly physique that I got. <sighs> I know today's gonna be hard. You know, one thing I'd like to point out about this movement is I think a lot of people aren't taking advantage of the winding handle like they could be. I mean, it's a fantastic tool for, you know, going against the top roller, but you need to look at this handle as if, okay, this, this handle is your opponent trying to top roll you. Um, wherever the pressure is coming from is kind of like how they're doing their top roll. And a lot of people set this up from the side. First off, you gotta wind it, and, and you gotta wind it in the right direction for this to work. But if you have it set up from the side, that's kind of like somebody's like, I don't know, maybe going for like a really directly sideways top roll, um, which is not often the case. Usually people are going straight back or they're like coming around even onto their losing side a little bit. So with this, you know, wherever you can imagine this bar, like wherever the bar is, it's kind of where the pressure is gonna be starting from. So if it's like coming from the side over here, it's like in your palm more than anything. And you can even get your wrist through and make contact with it. And it's, you know, it's like you're like stuck in a hook or it's, it's definitely less top rolling you and you're more able to get inside. The more you bring this out, wherever this bar goes is where the pressure on your hand is being applied. So it's, where I'm having it right now from the middle, I would say is a pretty good spot to use this. I would say even over here is probably the hardest where it's gonna be getting in your fingers right at the beginning. I've done it from, the, from this angle right here and that's where I kind of figured out. It's like pretty quickly you can get inside on it and, and it's not really top rolling you anymore. So from the front is, the hard, is a harder option over here is even harder. And right here, you know, you can still do it, but it's definitely the easiest way to use this handle. And you know, none of that matters if you don't start with some tension on the device. Like if I just start with it like this and then just kind of hop forward and then pull, you know, it's still gonna be hard. Uh, you can't really cheat this th thing too much, but you do need to start it wound and with some tension like this thing is not getting pulled off the ground i only need to wind it a little bit and this thing is not getting pulled off the ground so it's like tension is starting with my wrist fairly straight i would say i mean it's gonna not break until i kind of you know i'm trying to hook it so so anyways get the most out of your handle and today is my third week on program, so I gotta do 70 pounds for six sets of eight. So it's a good amount of volume. They're building up my volume. Next week will be the most amount of volume I have. And then they'll start tapering the volume down as they increase the, uh, the intensity. They keep you at 70% for three weeks, so right now they just increase the volume at that time, during that time. That's why I'm putting this out. Six by eight, which is freaking hard, with a pretty heavy weight and a difficult handle. Here we go. Oh, I'm too strong though. Let's 
if it starts slipping, I try to put it back. Was that five? to slip I try to tighten it back up and with the left I'm doing five pounds lighter Still way harder. I miscounted. I call it eight though. Oh, jeez. Oh, That's tough. Five more sets to go. That's kind of a daunting thought. I think I must have messed up somewhere too because oh, I did just with the right arm, but hopefully I didn't exhaust my, <laughs> I don't get too exhausted by the end of this, but I need more, more hands still. I need more bicep, you know, I need, all, I need the whole thing. I need more back pressure and pronation and stuff too, but that doesn't feel as good as my inside game right now. And this is such a stupidly difficult handle. Proud of you if you actually use this thing. <laughs> My other day, I actually use this handle with a loading pin and I do it from the ground. So it's like a free weight type thing. I don't do that as many days during the week as I do this though, but it's six days a week. It's only two hard days though, Monday and Wednesday. You know, one of the advantages I think to a pulley is it allows you, if you're in a situation where you're like, you're one of the stronger guys in, in your club or with your training partners or partner uh, to hit. If you're always catching, you know, and you never get a chance to like kind of work your hit in a controlled, safe way with big loads, uh, you're just gonna be kind of at a disadvantage. I would say that, that's one good thing about if you're a newer guy or a smaller guy, it's like you can hit all you want and most people aren't going to mind too, too much. Uh, whereas you reach a certain level of just like skill and strength and people are going to want you to stop hitting so much. So with the pulley, you can, you can still practice your hit and you're not hurting anybody. You're not hurting yourself, hopefully, if you're careful, but that possibility is still there. So be careful if you do hit. 
or maybe it's not like a hit necessarily. Maybe you want to just surge or just go faster than you might normally would with a training partner. I really have to hit just to get it moving. The right, even five pounds heavier, is a little more controlled and stronger still. <clears throat> Two more sets to go, thank goodness. Can't lie, it's been a little bit painful. More so for the left, but there was a time where I like right-handed, I could add freaking 15 pounds on there. It would've just been killer. Same thing with my pull-ups. I'm so happy my pull-ups are finally like not, you know, excruciating to, to do. I think dips are really good for the elbows, really good for arm wrestling. Calisthenics in general, basically body weight movements, really good for arm wrestling. Part of the reason I think calisthenics or body weight movements are, are good for you is because one of the adaptations you get whenever you do a body weight movement, like a pull up or a dip or a push up, is your body wants to get strong, but not heavy. You know, something like a deadlift or a squat, that'll definitely make you want to gain weight because mass moves mass in that sense. Whereas with calisthenics, it hurts if you're too massive. So it's like, whenever you do, if you do enough of cal calisthenics, the body's res response to it is to stay lean and get strong. All right, two more sets. Chipping away. done with this workout well week three is almost done week four is gonna be the same weight but for six sets of ten so more reps per set next week and uh, and then it's gonna start getting heavy so hopefully I can do more than a hundred pounds I think maybe even when I did the hundred pounds it might have been from this corner I can't remember so I'm hoping I get at least 100 pounds, like more clean maybe. 
if not heavier than that. So this program works though. I mean, me and my brother both do them, and uh, it's taken from a squat workout. It's uh, six days a week. It's back squats and front squats. So you choose two similar movements. In my case, it's this with a pulley, and then off the floor is like the front squat day, I guess, but. All right, last set, yippee. You know, at least with squatting, whenever you did a six by eight, that was it. Because it was just two legs, you know, as a bilateral movement. Uh, this being a unilateral movement, so just one arm at a time, you actually have to do twice the volume. So it's actually a six by eight times two, because I have to do it on my right hand and on my left hand. And for some reason, Maybe just because it feels heavier or I just don't have enough hand to control it more. I'm like dragging the elbow. It's like getting more planted. I'm like tearing up my elbow. So I'm gonna put this down for the last one. appreciate y'all watching uh if you're not subscribed i appreciate it if you do so i appreciate the comments i like getting some kind of feedback you know making sure that i'm not just like people are enjoying this to some degree anyways i appreciate you if you did watch you must have liked it so see y'all next time